Hello there. How are you? If you guys remember back in nine, sorry, 2015 of April, April 2015, uh, Tim Hortons invited me and a few other vloggers, bloggers, uh, to come out to the Tim Hortons plant. And I can't remember what township it was in, but it was a couple hours away from here. And as our parting gift, they gave us uh, this coffee maker. And so I haven't touched it since then. And it's been in my um, uh, garage since then. And because I had just bought um, a coffee maker and I didn't need a new one at the moment. So I just kind of kept it knowing someday I would use it. And today is the day. So we went up to the cottage last weekend and Carol brought uh, a bunch of friends and they all drank coffee. And Carol's dad has this coffee maker is about this big it's about this round like the uh the craft is about that round so uh we didn't want to make 30 crafts of coffee to to uh to satisfy everybody for their morning fix so i gave uh carol's parents my coffee maker hey ninja and which holds i think 16 cups and uh so i said you guys can keep this at the cottage just in case you have more than three people that drink coffee in the morning. Basically, between Carol's dad and I, when we have our coffee in the morning, Ninja, uh, we have to make at least one and a half of those pots of coffee if I want my fix of coffee. Because uh, they have like normal coffee cups and I prefer like the very large mugs of coffee. So there's Ninja. He wants to say hi, obviously. So I've already opened it and I'm, I'm glad I did that already. And uh, because it says a 10 cup brewer. Because it was... A little complicated to put together. You had to go through the instructions multiple times and it's saying don't do this unless you get to this point and, and stuff. So this is what it looks like. Move this out of the way. So the cool thing and the thing that's not so cool about this is once you've turned it on it's always hot water. So in this back chamber it has a switch. You switch that on and then that heats up water that's in here. So when you first get this thing going, you slide this around. See that? And that triggers it. Uh, you put in two full uh, crafts of water. So 48 ounces. Pour all that in. Fill it up again. 48 ounces. Oh, you had to wait, I think, 15 minutes or something. And then you had to put in another 48. And then you let it sit for 15 minutes and uh, wait for the internal coils to heat up and to get that water in the back super hot. So if this was at an office, it would be great because you just plug it in and you just it just goes. It'll stay on, the water will always stay hot and that was the problem we couldn't figure out. And it does say on the box, rapid, rapid, uh, uh, hot water or whatever but the thing is it has to stay on all the time so I don't like it having on all the time so as soon as I get up in the morning I turn the switch to the on switch uh, that's the warmer switch just for that plate to keep that on so let's make some coffee so we'll put that in there this is the last of the Austrian coffee thank you very much Sophie it was good while it lasted. Let's do let's do all of it because it's like just barely barely enough. I'm not sure why it starts to kind of leak at the moment, but it does. So let's wipe that off. And then I uh, put this slide this on or in. So I'm going to do two more cups of coffee. So I've discovered uh, up to this line we'll do, or just under that line. So although it has two 48 ounce things of water in it, that's what it's heating up all the time. So now when you wanna make this much coffee, this much coffee, or this much coffee, that's what you pour in and, and then it will make that much coffee. So. So I'm gonna do just under the white line, pour that in. The one weird thing about this is it doesn't have an indicator as to how much water is in it. 
that's that was the problem, right? You you pour in a whole thing of of water, and then you pour in another one after it's settled, and then you pour in the coffee or the water that you want to use for the actual coffee. Let's hang. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, for the coffee that you want to drink, so. I'm gonna let this heat up a bit more because it's not 100% hot. As soon as you swing this shut, it'll start. Oh look, okay, I just noticed something. First time, there's water right there. I wish you could take this, lift this up or there's water shimmering right there. So it is full. But uh, again, the whole idea is if we were at the cottage with this system uh, and there were a lot of people that wanted coffee, you know, you, you do what I just did, pour in, let's say, 48 ounces, put in your scoops of coffee, uh, make sure this is on, which, again, this is just the heating pad for the, keeps this at a, the, the correct temperature. And then you just, as soon as you swivel this shut, it just starts to pour right away. You don't have to wait for it to heat up and all that. It's already hot. So this would be great at a dinner party. Um, if you had a lot of guests that wanted coffee and you didn't want to waste a whole lot of time by refilling it up uh, like a, one of the old the regular drip type coffee so this is a really cool system for that for just one single person who drinks coffee at home it's it's not the exact kind of system i need because as soon as i'm finished this i shut it off uh, i don't let the, this thing to stay on 24 hours a day it just i don't know how much electricity that would use but uh, so, as soon as this is ready to go, as soon as this heats up at the back here, uh, and again, when it is when it is hot, you can't really touch this because it's crazy hot. So we'll shut off the camera, we'll wait for it to heat up, I'll give it another 10 minutes, and timer, and we're off. As you can see, it's done. What I'm going to do is flip this switch first. Flip the lid, turn on the plate heater, it'll instantly start to go. Again, this is meant to be run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And it'll always have hot water, unless you have a lot of coffee drinkers. So we'll get our teaspoon. We got our Batman mug. I'm slowly cutting out sugar for my coffee and I only put like a level spoon. I used to do two spoons and then I went to one heaping and then I went to one level and eventually I'll get down. It's nice to have that little bit of sweet near the end. I also do uh, this is five percent five percent light cream but tastes like ten. I'm not sure what they do. I don't think I really want to know what they do to make it taste like 10. Look at that. Oh boy. So it is definitely a slow drip coffee. You can see the coffee pouring through there. Nice. close as it's ever going to be we'll pour that into our mug let it dissolve those little beautiful crystals of sugar we'll put that back in here so again after my second cup I'll shut this off and I'll shut off this and, and then I'll kind of open it up let it all air dry and then it'll be done and I won't use it I won't turn it on again until tomorrow but it is meant once again to be left on all the time. Let's take a little sip. Why that's delicious, Batman. I'd like to uh, thank Tim Hortons again from three years ago, giving me this really cool brawn Tim Hortons brewer. Premium blend coffee. Wow. It is like the perfect temperature. Like they really put some amazing efforts into this thing. Fast and hot, great tasting coffee in three minutes. 
again, unless it's off. And then you have to wait 15 minutes plus the three minutes. So be careful what the box says. Quick three minute brew cycle for coffee that's rich and smooth. Water travels quickly through the unique spray head. Create the turbulence needed to wet the grounds evenly and extract optimal flavor. Brews at the ideal temperature for hot, flavorful coffee. Mm. Oh, squirrel! There he is, there he is. Get that squirrel, get that squirrel. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll leave a link in the description to the older video that you can go check out. Give that a thumbs up. Leave a comment there. I'd really appreciate that from you to me. That would be really nice, cool. Uh, but we'll uh, do it. We'll continue on with these vlogs tomorrow. See ya.